superstar wide receiver. And with him, any catch could be a big one. He's the NFL leader in touchdown receptions. It's the Eagles and the Giants on Thursday night primetime. It is time for football as we welcome you to another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. And a very Merry Christmas to you and yours on this special day. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Greg, Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas to you, buddy. I know both of us kind of feel the same way. If you're going to be home with your family, celebrating with the ones you love. This is a pretty good second place. I think when you find out, you're going to be not only calling or playing, the only game in town, national holiday. Everyone's home with their families watching you, in our case, listening to us. It's a pretty special honor, and I'm happy to be here alongside your partner. We hope you've had a great and Merry Christmas. Time to add one more gift under the tree. Off we go here on EA Sports. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants offense making their way out for the first time. They're led by the former first-round pick out of Duke, quarterback Daniel Jones. I think the biggest thing that stood out from last week's game was when they went into the game with an initial plan, how quickly were they able to get away from that when they realized it wasn't working? I think they got a lot of unscouted looks, meaning the defense threw a lot of exotic looks at them, blitzes, different fronts and coverages, maybe things they didn't work on all week. So the key this week is understand what is the defense looking to do today and how fast can we make those adjustments if we're not having early success. Second and a yard. Now Jones on the bootleg. Oh, no, right the start, he loses the football. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. So even though they avoid the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. And this ball incomplete on third down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. So the Philadelphia offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a young man who's making a name for himself, their rookie quarterback. He's coming off a really nice three-touchdown performance in last week's win, Mike, but outside of that one errant throw, he did a really nice job of protecting the ball and was seemingly in control the entire game. This defense all week, they talked about trying to bait him into making some mistakes. So he's got to be careful about falling into the trap. If he does that, I'll tell you what, I really like their chances. Here's second and three to go. He'll look to throw. Quick throw, taken in. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Blitz coming, he'll throw it. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Come to the line now on second and two. Off play action, he'll set up to throw. Going left side down the field, and it's complete. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. 
touchdown, number 19 on the year. And that touchdown is a record breaker. He has set the NFL standard for most receiving touchdowns in a single season in NFL history. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. 7-0 is our score as this kick is sent into the air. On the return, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Giants offense is going to take over now for the second time. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. Throwing on first down. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Here's first and ten. Back to throw here to begin the drop. Short pass taken in by the tight end. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. And he's going to be taken down. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. Sudden change. So you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels. Your offense just turned the ball over. Now you've got to go out and make a stand. Well, so far this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly. But can they dig in and at least force a field goal? Inside the five, it is second and goal. He'll drop to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the 17-yard line. After that play, it stopped an injured Giant on the field. Athletic training staff's going to take a look, but this is a problem late in the season. Third and goal. They'll look to throw. He'll check this down to the running back. A great job by this defense. Nowhere near the end zone as we get to fourth and goal. On fourth down, it's Jake Elliott time for the Eagles. His kick will split the uprights. It's good. And the Eagles will extend to a 10-0 lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. They'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. The run here with Devin Singletary. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a game of about one. Sidney Brown, they're on the tackle. Third and five. And the gun, it's Jones. That's made right side, it's Johnson. He's going to have that first down gain of six as they convert on third down. The 
Singletary now on first and ten. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass. Nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. The Giants sending out their puzzle as he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. the coverage was great. They gave him no room to operate and made him pay for catching the ball. Right away, they'll set up to throw. That'll be caught left side. It's got him. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. This one, Mike, he really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Back to throw. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. First and 10 at the 25-yard line. Back to the air one more time. This one complete right side. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by Drew Phillips. So much of that play comes down to the defender's position. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. The Giants offense headed back to take over once more. They'll start it here with a first and 10. Shotgun now for Jones. A short one there to Bellinger. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. 
Working from the gun, it's Jones. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. To throw, it's Jones. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. Again, it's Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Jones to the air again. This throw left side taken in by Johnson. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Athletic training staff's going to take a look, but this is a problem late in the season. The Giants sending out their punter as he is on to kick it away. Yeah! Oh, no fair catch, and he pays the price. Big shot to make sure this return didn't even get started. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. They'll run with the Clemson product. This is Will Shipley. <laughs> Love to start any drive like that. 18 on the first play. And a first down. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy. But if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Now they'll set up to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. <laughs> The 43-yard line. He'll look to throw. Quick throw, taken in. An attack is going to be made down at the 40-yard line. They pick up 17 through the air. First down, Philadelphia. Quick throw here is complete. He'll get it up four here as he is taken down. They'll look to throw again. He tosses over the middle. This one is caught. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Back with more of this Thursday Open after this. First and ten. They'll look to throw yet again. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. To the right side, punt by Goddard. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Look him up on a second down and eight. At the 17 yard line. A shotgun snap. He'll look to throw to the end zone there, but it is incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And they're going to have enough 
to convert here. And it sets up first and goal. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, Just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. And some space opening up as he works it down to the two. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second, as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. Once more from the two. Third and goal. So got it. The tight end comes in motion. And he is not going to get in. They make the tackle at the line of scrimmage. And that's going to bring up fourth and goal. He'll try to run. And he's not going to get there. They stopped him at the goal line. It's a turnover on downs. And here we have a real gutsy call here, Mike, early in this game offensively. I think you're giving up a surefire field goal attempt, but at the same time, you're demonstrating to your players, hey, offense, I have a lot of trust in you, and let's see if they have this same approach as the rest of this game plays on. He'll give it to Singletary to begin this drive. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. He'll keep it on the ground here again. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Greg in just a moment. But first, let's give everybody a look at what's coming up later this weekend around the NFL. Good games all over the screen there, one being at MetLife Stadium, a big one for the Jets as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. In the late afternoon games, one of the best of the bunch will be at Soldier Field in Chicago where it'll be the Bears taking on the Washington Commanders. And finally, Sunday night football. They've got a good one lined up between the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers. These two teams leaving the tunnel and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. On the return, here is Anias Smith. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he is the NFL leader in passing yards with two weeks to play. Looking to finish strong and capture the crown. to throw here to begin the drop. He'll get this complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The tight end going in motion to the left. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Now he'll air one out. And that is brought in. combination in the air there the pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown and it's really just a great route Mike and then a beautiful throw the accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch but then be able to turn it up and finish the play 
and find himself in the end zone. On is Elliott to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Eagles move further out in front. It is now 17 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Giants offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here. And everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. From the gun, it's Jones. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Third down and nine. Now, Jones. He'll let it fly. Deep ball for Slayton. Pretty unforgettable performance so far in the first half, Mike. And they're going to try to figure this out here in the second half and try to gain some momentum. Figure out what's going to work, where are our matchups, and let's go try to put a drive together and get some points because so far this has been a struggle and they just cannot get anything going for the end. Ah, that could have broken for a bigger return, but as it is, nice job getting his offense a start out past the 30-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Rookie from Michigan State looking sharp on that throw. It's a first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. That's taken in right side by Goddard. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. And he's in. Touchdown, Philadelphia. That is second touchdown of the game. He's got 20 on the year. And his sensational season continues. That touchdown catch, number 20 on the year. Here's Elliott for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles are able to extend out to a 24-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's Robinson. Now on the return, he has lost the football. And now following the turnover, we have an injured player on the field. Athletic training staff's going to take a look, but this is a problem late in the season. Right away, they'll set up to throw. He'll get this out to his running back. And they'll get about half of what they needed to pick up a five and sets up second and five. They'll look to throw. That is part of the three. And he will score again. Touchdown, 
Eagles. He has come alive after the break. His third touchdown of the second half. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. The extra point by Elliott is good. And the Eagles move out even further ahead. It is now 31 to nothing. The return starts from the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants offense ready to take over as we check out the playoff race in the NFC. And things are getting a little tight with two weeks left in the regular season. Already, we can look ahead in both conferences to some critical divisional matchups ahead in Week 18. And the struggles in the running game continue. They take him down behind the line. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Third and long. Shotgun now for Jones. Trying to push the ball down the field. It's an interception. Picked off by Cooper DeGene. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and ten in the red zone. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And as we take you through some of the highlights so far, you're going to see a lot of passing yards. He has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. Blitz coming, he'll throw it. A toss, left side, caught by his running back. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack. And he's got another one. Touchdown, Philadelphia. What a night he's having. That's four touchdowns in this game alone. And with that touchdown pass, he draws even with the Hall of Famer Peyton Manning. Most touchdown passes in a single season. They share the record now with 55 each. Elliott on now for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Eagles keep rolling right along. 38 to nothing. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. Oh, and he's down at the 23. And that's where the offense will take over. The visitors offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Jones. That's caught left side by Bellinger. It's a nice start to the drive, a gain of ten and a quick first down. to throw is Jones. Off balance throw. It's complete. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. They'll put a receiver in motion right. They'll run. It's Singletary. And 
he'll take this back to the 43 yard line. Nicobe Dean in on the tackle. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with single terror. A gain there of 10 yards. That's good for a giant first down. Here's Jones to throw. Finding his tight end, Bellinger. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A gain of three on the play. First down, Giants. Fourth quarter coming up here on Christmas night. We'll have more Thursday Night Football after this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Back to throw is Jones. This one pulled in by the tight end, Bellinger. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. First down, New York. Throwing, Jones. Quick throw, taken in. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. That's taken in. What a catch by Neighbors. And they'll get into the end zone for the first time tonight. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, Giants. Well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. At least it'll pay off with a touchdown, Greg. Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. Give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this one. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Smith to return it. Oh, he's got room past the 30. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Nothing more. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. They'll stick with him again. So when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run, I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say, okay, how many yards did they run for? But more importantly, when did those yards come? Did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter, which typically means I had to lead? That's the sign of a successful run game, as opposed to getting a lot of meaningless yards early in the game. This is one of those down and distances where the offense really could either run or pass, but give credit to the defense. They sold out to stop the run, and boy, were they right. They take them down for a loss. On uh, fourth down, they'll turn to Ryan Stonehouse here to punt. One away. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. 
The visitors' offense ready to come back out for this next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable things to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield. That's going to be intercepted. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. And when they invested a first-round pick on this defensive back, just a few months ago. I mean, he's entered the league, Mike, with a reputation for having almost offensive wide receiver type ball skills. And those ball skills were certainly on full display that time. This offense ready for their next possession led by their running back. And really, he has not produced a whole lot of highlights as we thought about coming in that he could be a featured back in this one. Instead, no running lanes, no room to operate, stuck at the line of scrimmage and generally taking this offense out of its flow. Going back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. Call it a game of 13. Good for an Eagles first down. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time. In 2013, that record goes down here. Well, he can start putting his name on the MVP trophy. That last touchdown, a big one. He has set the NFL record for the most touchdown passes in a single season. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this field in at about the nine and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line the visitors offense about ready to take over once more they'll do so with first and ten Going now is Jones. And he'll wind up out of bounds past the 45-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. To throw, it's Jones. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. They'll come up to third and three. Again, they'll throw with Jones. And he'll try to get to the marker, but he's going to wind up a yard or two short. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the punt team as he'll come on to kick for the fifth time here tonight. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. To the ground, a 
a first down run. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. this up to the 22 yard line it's a gain of 10 yards good for an eagles first down they'll stay on the ground and this time they are ready for him he'll be thrown for a loss no big game that carry it's second down when you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. So it's a win here for the Eagles. And it will be a very Merry Christmas indeed as they get the victory on this December night. Just about to it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Eagles are winners, as we say, so long from South Philly.